His job is to cover 3,200 square miles, which is about three times the size of Salt Lake County. Lieutenant Monty Ney works for the Duchesne County Sheriff's Department, and tonight we learn more about the law enforcement veteran in our Behind the Badge report. These are the goods. Lieutenant Monty Ney returns evidence from a recent drug search case. Hey, right, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Heroin and methamphetamine is a big problem here. Investigating drug cases is part of his current duties within the Duchesne County Sheriff's Department. But over the past 16 years, he has covered just about everything in law enforcement. Nay says one of his favorite assignments was being a canine handler with his partner, Max. There's a bond there, you know. They need you. They, they hate it to see you leave the vehicle, you know. They're just right there by you the whole time. You know, nobody dared to pat me on the back because the doctor <laughs> took it as a sign of aggression. He's also worked as a corrections officer. He served on the narcotics strike force. He's been a detective and served as a student resource officer. Actually, some letters addressed to me from some of the kids. Thank you for being our cop and, you know, teaching us drills and stuff. Law enforcement is in Nay's blood. His father was actually a police officer, but he says serving and protecting is really his way of giving back. I've kind of had a, a rough childhood, and I wanted to give back to the people that always give back to me, and I felt the, through service in law enforcement or EMS or something is, is how I felt like I was doing my, my duty, my, you know, fulfilling my obligation. He says being a cop today is not easy. We're either danged if we do or danged if we don't. There's a stress each day that you're making the right decisions, you know. How you doing today? Good, you? All right. Well, probably better than you. I didn't get pulled over, huh? <laughs> but he says this is where he belongs because it's where he can serve. Just the helping somebody in a time of need, sitting down with them and talking with them and uh, helping them through a struggle. You know, my goal is still to help somebody, you know. Um, I'm not going to be able to help them all, but I pray that I can help somebody out there that wants to change. To me, to be an officer, it's an honor to be able to don the badge every morning and to take part in protecting those that need our help. Before he became a deputy, Lieutenant Ney worked as a volunteer firefighter and with EMS. To check out this and other Behind the Badge stories and to nominate an officer for a future story, go to goodforutah.com slash badge. Don Hudson, Good for Utah.